All right, let's get another check of that weather with Lisette. Lisette, a lot of storms moving our way this afternoon, huh? Yeah, expecting another round of rain after the heavy downpours we had this morning. So get ready and just have your umbrella close and stay weather alert as we'll see the chance for a few strong to severe storms with the potential for some heavy rain in spots, could see some lightning and gusty winds. The National Weather Service is saying there's an isolated chance of a brief tornado. Um, and also we're talking the potential for small hail, but scattered storms likely even through your Saturday. So the first half of the weekend is soggy, but the second half of the weekend is looking drier, sunny, not as warm. We have a cold front that is going to move through. And this is the same cold front that is also keeping us very unstable out ahead of it. The atmosphere is very juicy and unsettled. And that is the reason that we've been dealing with the rain due to all the moisture that's streaming in. Thankfully for now, we're getting a break here. Lunchtime, the sun is actually out and that also is going to help to fuel the thunderstorms, the heating of the day. Now, I wanted to show you some of the rainfall totals because we picked up over two inches of rain in Miami and about an inch in Homestead so far since last night and about a half of an inch in Opelok and about a quarter of an inch in Fort Lauderdale, likely going to be adding to those rainfall totals. And the Storm Prediction Center is saying there is a marginal risk of isolated strong to severe storms. And as I mentioned, could see some more downpours and lightning. Future radar is showing us the timing of when the storms will likely move in, although so we've been hearing from the National Weather Service and looking at these models, there's a high level of uncertainty of, in regards to the exact timing, but giving us an idea that as we get into 3, 4 p.m., we'll likely start to see some storms possibly around Pembroke Pines, West End, Pompano Beach, and then more storms going into 5 p.m., so the worst of timing around evening rush. Of course, our meteorologist Dave Warren will be tracking it all this evening. Make sure to stay tuned. It looks quiet late tonight, and tomorrow you'll notice a chance for some scattered showers that will be moving on in. It won't be a complete washout, but in terms of the severe storm threat today, the highest potential for lightning, gusty winds, and heavy rain, and highs still managing to make it into the 80s, and we are going to see those temperatures drop to the 70s this evening, the upper 60s overnight. Tomorrow, another warm, humid day. 75 on Sunday, that'll be my pick for the best part of the weekend, a cooler breeze developing. By Monday, you'll need the sweaters and jackets. Lows will be chilly in the 50s, highs in the low 70s, and then a quick warm-up by the middle of next week.